Hey everybody, back with my nemesis, Double Masters. Having some fun, opening up a box before, uh, before the college basketball national title game tonight. I don't know if anybody else watching is a college basketball fan. But, who do you got? Do you got Gonzaga or do you got uh, Baylor? Well, I figured my local game store still has these for cheaper than everybody else has them for. They, uh, they, they, you know, they, they do change the price depending on what's going on, but, you know, they, they're trying also to make it appealing to shop there. So they're trying to straddle the line. So they still have some double masters for cheaper than every other spot. So I figured, what the heck, let's give it another shot. All right, let's get started. I still think the set can, could just potentially be incredibly awesome. In fact, it seems that the public is starting to view that too. Okay, Mesmeric Orb, okay, for a solid first rare. And Falcon Aristocrat, put that right there. Okay, so today I do have a Karn and the Sickle Slicer. Hey, Foil Vexing Shusher, okay. So I do have Karn in the, uh, in the Tron lands here. Hoping for good luck there, on Karn anyway. Still really cool how you can set them all up together. Okay. Still looking for those good in common. So we got Painsmith, Core Tepper. Core Tepper's cool. All right, Basalt Monolith. And, oh, mother of God. Force of freaking will. Oh, hoping so many of these now, just hoping for one of these. Oh, thank God. I feel like I feel like I can stop now. All right, force of will, force of will. All right, and then rolling earthquake, clear shot, and master splicer, and a plant. Oh, that is that is great. That is fantastic right off the bat. Force of will, just starting this box off well. I have not had. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I, I have gotten uh, a mana crypt, but. Beyond that, that's just good to see. Okay. Invigorate, Buried Ruin, Lightning Greaves. Awesome. I will take all the Lightning Greaves. Spellskite. Is it Spellskite or Spellskite? Maze of Ith. Awesome. It's so cool that they just kept printing this card. I, I know that it makes the value, you know, go much lower, but it was always such an awesome card from the dark. I always thought it was the best one. At least the most flexible, anyway. Sanction Gargoyle and Urza's Tower. Okay. Put that in the uh, good uncommon pile. Deserves it. All right, so, so far, hey, Mesmeric Orb, Foil, Vexing Shusher, Force of Will, Maze of Ith. Not too, not too bad. Solid start. Okay. Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Yevon Maya's Embrace. Skull Muncher and Exploration. Nice. One of the best rares in the set. Cool. In fact, I'm going to move Force of Will here. Duplicant. Always an, was an awesome card with Kiki Jiki, but obviously monetary value very little. Balduvian Rage and Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Okay, so we got an exploration. We're just uh, we're just chugging along here. This is a good box opening so far. People have talked about having great box openings of these, and I just certain sets you just don't have luck with, right? So, ooh, Metamorphos, Sarah Sphinx, Mystic Gate. Okay, for the Filter Land, and we got a rare Blade Splicer. Okay, and Heartless. Heartless Pillage, and, oh, a Foil Measure's Bobble. Cool. Okay. So that was uh, that was one of our weaker packs, and that wasn't even incredibly terrible. All right, Veteran Explorer. Calling Days. Path to Exile. I'll take all the Path to Exiles. Magus of the Abyss. Boo. Walking Ballista. Okay. Another good rare. 
magnifying glass and all right foil sunforger well that's probably going to do it then for the two foil rare mythics it's so unfortunately we got two rares um i did always love sunforger so i'm not mad even though it doesn't have the the monetary value okay next pack all right hidden stockpile there's your knowledge Ubelet. Cascade Bluffs for another filter land. Sword of Feast and Famine. Oh, wow. Oh, man. So Force of Will and then the then the best sword. Man, this is, this is doing great. All right. And Steel Sabotage and Pyre Wild Shaman. Shaman. Shaman, 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 Shaman. Wow. Sword of Feast and Famine following up the Force of Will. What did I have in my last one? Best one was Dark Confidant. Is uh, my best mythic. Huh. Calling Days. Oh, Naginata. Dismantle. Boon Reflection. And Ion Storm. Okay, so that was our first truly weak pack. Metallic Rebuke. And Reclamation Sage. Alright, so it was a bit, you know, we've been having a really good success here. That was the first busted pack that we've had. It was going to happen eventually. I'm glad it took this long to get to it. Okay. Orox Salvagers. Riddle Smith. Another Path to Exile. I will take all the Path to Exiles. Wound Reflection. Solid Rare. Mirror Battle Spear for the uh, 10 cent rare. Ancestral Blade Foil and Might of the Masses Foil. Okay. So that's kind of like just one of your, you know, ho hum packs. Wound of Reflection, solid, but everything else, eh. we're coming down a little bit here. We uh, kind of hit a high. I should probably be pulling the Urza Lance, but I'll do that later. Hinder, Uvenweld Mysteries, Drown in Sorrow, and first rare, Either Sworn Canonist, and we got another rare, Sundering Titan. That is an ouch pack. Okay. Valor of Ekros and Mirror Smith. All right. So that is three subpar packs in a row. We're kind of on a, on a downhill spiral here. All right. So we've only gotten two Mythics. I think you average six per box of these. So we still have plenty of Mythic action to go. So we got Weapons Trainer, Dread Return, Death Reap Ritual, Sunforger, again. Goto, Bandit, Warlord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've definitely hit a, uh, a little bit of a, a weak section of the box. But still a bunch of Mythics to go, so let's turn this around. I shouldn't even say turn this around. Let's get it back on track. That's probably the best way to put it. Blasphemous Act, not terrible. And then Master Transmuter. That's not uh, getting this back on track. And two foil commons. But hey, if we knock out enough of those, right, then, then we're going to get back to the good packs. That's how it works, right? Ooh, crop rotation. Okay. Crop rotation. Daredevil. Clone Shell. Sunken Runes for another filter land. And Merciless Eviction. Eh, all right. And Death of Cobra. Okay. Well, what do we got left here? So we got... After this, we got 10 packs left. So after this, we are 60% through the box. Only two Mythics so far. Treasure Mage. Kadalfa Flame Fiend. Phyrexian Revoker. Okay. And uh, Yora. Weather Light Captain. Okay. Kazul and Glaze Fiend. Oof. This is, oh, oof. Ah, we started off so hot. We started off so good. We have hit a wall. Treasure Keeper. Mirror Smith. Esperzoa. Dragon Wick Cremator. Uh, hey, let's make a master set and put this in. 
Oh, it's a rare. No. Master of Ethereum. I saw that, and I saw that, and I'm like, okay. Fortify, Eager Construct. All right. I don't know how many that is, but is that, what, six, seven subpar packs in a row? Wizards is funny like that, though. You know, I got the Force of Will. I got the Sword of Feast and Famine. Those are two of the best pulls you could have. So, you know, they want to make sure that they, they just... They don't give you much else, right? That's what they're after. Topple the statue. Yours familiar. Isochron Scepter. I, I'm not mad at that. And... Ah, Noble Hierarch. Not mad at that, but... I'm looking for some of those mythics. Hey! Our third, uh... Our third rare. Foil. Flooded Grove. Another one of the filter lands. Is that, uh, one, two... That's, a uh, four filter lands so far. Yeah, you know, that, that was a really good pack, actually. So that, that's going to get us back on the right track here. Noble Hierarch, Isochron Scepter, Foil Flooded Grove. That's pretty good. Okay. Vampire Hex Mage. Rush of Knowledge. Lightning Greaves again. Cool. Liege of the Tangle. Eh, another rare. Doomed Necromancer. Mm. All right, folks. We are on pace here. To have gotten uh, just fantastic early pulls and just fall flat on our face in the end. I don't think I've ever had less than five mythics in a double masters box. That's what we're on pace right now to do. Flicker Wisp, Disciple of Bolas, and yeah, uh, Swift Blade Vindicator. Let me focus back in here. Sorry. Even my camera's mad at this moment. It's like, I can't believe this. What's happening? You can't go from what you were doing to have six packs left and only have two Mythics in a Double Masters box. Double Masters continues to be my nemesis, even with some good early pulls. Okay. Rage Reflection for the Pointless Rare. Ah! Mazarek. Five packs left, everybody. Five packs left. Two mythics so far. Yeah, they happen to be two of the best mythics you could pull, but that is incredibly terrible odds. Reclamation Sage. Pentad Prism. Dark Steel Forge. Okay. Well, at least we found another mythic. And two Mythic Pack. Archangel of Thune. Not bad, not bad. Two Mythic Pack. <laughs> that is freaking weird. Yeah, okay. All right, so that, that is odd. A two Mythic Pack. So how does the sorting work on something like that? That I, I go all that time only having two Mythics, and then there's two Mythics in one pack. Odd. This, this, the way the set's designed still is... Unpredictable. Oh, Pongify. Okay. Glass Hulk. Fitted Heath. So we got all five filter lands. Endless Atlas. Okay. Esper Zua. Oh my god! <clears throat> yeah, that, that, sorry, that was louder than the Force of Will. Just very unexpected considering uh, we've got uh, two foil rares already. So that is a foiling, doubling season, which does not count toward the box mythic count. That is spectacular. That has quickly entered the ranks of the best five pulls in this set, as it should be. That is, that is great. Okay. This box is money. I can officially call it that after that. This is the best box of double masters I've ever opened. Period. End of story. Okay. Heat Shimmer. <laughs> oh, poor Red, you know? Poor Red. Just it, it. I feel like every single one of these Master Sets I open, Red just has nothing. Council's Judgment. Okay. All right, everybody. Two packs left, and then we're going to do the box stoppers. I can officially call this box a fantastic success. 
I love the fact that I got, I mean, it's not huge monetary, but I got one of each of the uh, filter lands is really cool. And Noble Hierarch and Exploration is pretty awesome. And double in season. Isochron Scepter has always been one of my favorite cards. Maze of Ith. Walking uh, Ballista is no, uh, no slump. Okay. Fatal Push. Chief of the Foundry. Celestia Guild Mage. Ooh, another Mythic. <laughs> Mailstorm Nexus. Um, yeah, you know, <clears throat> we had to hit something that the set does have mythics that aren't particularly hot. So, oh my God, that, that was another two mythic pack. A sort of fire and ice and maelstrom nexus. So, this, this, so the second best sword. So yeah, so, so we got that. That's fine. Whatever. You're going to go in the pile. Second best sword. Man, this is the box set. Just, you know what this means? You know what this means? I know what this means. What this means is Goblin Guide in the Expedition Map. That's in here. This is by far the best. I mean, what are we at so far? Just do some quick math here. So, yeah, we're, we're at about 400 bucks here. So we're at a little bit more than the, than the value. Just on some quick math before we can get to the box stoppers. Oops, what did I do there? Bloodshot Trainee, Trash for Treasure. All right, last pack, everybody. Reshape. Ah, Conjurer's Closet. Okay. Hey, a Foil Brainstorm. That's pretty cool, though. Put that over there. Okay. So, this box has been overall outstanding. I did get the six Mythics you're supposed to get. Two Best Swords, Force of Will, Darksteel Forge and Arch Archangel of... Is it Archer or Arc? Archangel of uh, Thune, which are solid cards. Double in Season Foil. You know, Noble Hierarch, Exploration. Pretty much was what I didn't get. Cyclonic Rift and, uh, and Stoneforge Mythic. Or Mystic, sorry. All right. Okay, so... So what I found out, somebody commented on my last ones, you actually can get two Mythics out of these, which I did not think was possible. So... Academy Ruins. So we did not get two Mythics out of these, but still, really cool looking card. Okay. And Toxic Deluge. So overall, I got two of, you know, of the of the better rares. Or I shouldn't say Academy Ruins is at this point, but um, you know, they're not the, the terrible pulls. Yeah, I didn't get any of the Mythics out of that, but I'm not surprised with the quality of the Mythics I had gotten. This box has been fantastic. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.